All right, guys, how's it going? Today we got a video, something that I haven't done in a long time, and that's kind of like a how-to video for streaming, for streamers. Now, over a year ago, I put out a video explaining how to use Restream and setting up your alerts if you're, you know, you're using YouTube and Twitch or YouTube and Mixer or whatever it is that you're using and setting up the alerts for that. Now, one thing I guess I didn't cover too well or one thing that I get a ton of questions still on is your alerts are duplicating. So right now I'm gonna just pop an image on screen right here and what that means and if this is exactly what's happening to you you're gonna hear some clicking on my mouse right here just so I can do some example alerts let's say you get a follow on mixer uh, for the example uh, for this video we're gonna pretend you use mixer and you use YouTube the same goes if you're using twitch or any other platform but I am set up on mixer and I am set up on YouTube so that's why it's gonna set this up so what I think people are trying to do is set up, you know, maybe your YouTube alerts on one side of the screen, Mixer alerts on a different side of the screen or whatever it is. So you go to Streamlabs, you get your URL, you post it in here, you know what you're doing. But the problem is uh, your alerts are duplicating. So here you go. For example, I pretend I'm getting a follower on Mixer and boom. It shows up in two spots now for the demo that I'm doing right here we just got an image in the background that I just wanted to do as an overlay <clears throat> um, but I want my mixer alerts on the right and I want my YouTube YouTube alerts on the left my YouTube alerts are in red so here we go we'll do a YouTube alert right here as you can see they're popping up in both spots that's not what you want that's not what you want to have happen what you really want to have happen is uh, let me switch things up a little bit right here show you it is possible because I know you guys are all having problems with this but I figured out a way and I'm gonna explain how you do this here we go mixer follow shows up on the left doesn't show up on the right uh, and let's say you get a uh, YouTube follower at the same time YouTube subscriber there you go there it is so it is possible and I'm gonna explain to you what the problem is and then I'm also gonna explain to you how to solve it so um, here we go all right so first things first is you saw what I did here. I'm assuming you know how to set up your alerts. Obviously, if you're getting duplicates, duplicated alerts, you know how to go to Streamlabs. You got an account. You know how to you know create a URL. You know how to get your alerts popping up. So let me uh, switch this up over here. We're going to be taking a look over here at my Streamlabs account. So the first thing that you need to pay attention to is up here in the top. As you can see, I've got YouTube, Facebook, and Mixer linked. There's really not too many alerts for Facebook, so we're just going to ignore that for right now. Like I said, we're talking about Mixer, and we're talking about YouTube. Look at the little icon right here. Whatever you see, that's what you're logged into. Now, if I go here to click on Mixer, it's going to change, and now uh, I'm logged in to technically my Mixer account. And if you look down here, your alerts change as well. You've got follow, subscription, resub, donation, test, blah, 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 blah. Now, I can't show you this because you guys would steal it from me, but right here where it says click to show widget URL. That's what you do. That's what you copy to get your alerts to pop up. If you notice, if you go between, if you go between uh, Mixer and you go between YouTube, same goes for Twitch, like I said before. If you were to look at that URL, they are identical. There's no difference. So that's where the problem starts. If you copy that URL, you post your, you know, you, you, you copy it from your, um, copy it from your mixer page on Streamlabs, which we are right here. You know, you go into uh, your streaming software and you set it all up. Then you come back in here, you go over to your YouTube page, do the same thing, copy that URL. It is the exact same URL on both pages. That's why you're getting your duplicates. Now, what you want to try to do is Make that, you, make that URL different for each one. Now to do that, uh, we're gonna get a little tricky here. So we are in here on YouTube. What I'm gonna do here is click my URL. I'm going to hide my base URL right here. So I got a bar over you know, the standard URL. What you have right above it is donations, subscribers, members, super chats, and merch. Those are what you're gonna get alerts for. Now, let's say, for example, you don't have merch set up. Just uncheck it, and as you can see, your whole URL is now different. Now, again, I'm blocking out my custom URL, but this will then be the same for everyone else. If you see here, we have donations equals one, subscribers equals one, sponsors equals one, blah, 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 blah. So whatever is checked is actually getting a one. 
Now, for example, um, I don't have merch set up and I don't have members set up on my YouTube channel. So these two things for me are unchecked. Now, if you see, I uncheck this. Now, members in this checkbox is actually represented by sponsors down here. Let's not get confused about that. But if you uncheck it, sponsors goes away. Now, what this does is you now have a unique YouTube URL that is just going to show donations, subscribers, super chats, and they got face mask, do face mask donations here. You're not able to turn that off. I don't really mess around with face masks, so that never happens to me. But what this does now is um, it's a unique URL for YouTube, and this is what you now need to do. You need to copy this, go back into your streaming software, call this your YouTube alerts. The, these are your YouTube alerts. You are now you now have a custom URL that is only going to alert you to donations, subscribers, and super chats. That's it. You're not going to have, if you're on Twitch, you're not going to get followers, you're not going to get subs. Uh, if you're on Mixer, same idea. Got it? Okay. There's one little caveat here. One little thing that, uh, that does pose a little bit of an issue, and that's donations. Now with donations, um, that is not specific to YouTube, it is not specific to, um, to Twitch, it is not specific to Mixer. If you have a donation link that's actually set up through Streamlabs, which most of you probably do, you know, this is different from Bits, this is different from uh, Super Chat, this is strictly your, your donation, um, your donation uh, URL that you, you, you know, people can tip you with, whatever it is that they send you to Streamlabs uh, website and then they put in a tip and then that's what you get. So donations are always going to be the same. So if you keep donations checked, that's going to show up everywhere. There's no way around it because uh, donations, like I said, is not unique to Twitter or to Twitter, <laughs> to Twitch. It's not unique to YouTube. It's not unique to um, Mixer. But what you can do is just have a, a general donation uh, alert, an only donation alert. And you can set that up on any page. You can set that up like we talked about up here, changing between YouTube, changing between Mixer, whatever it is. You can go over here, uncheck everything. So if I was to do this, now as you can see, well, that face masks thing is still right there. Uh, but the only thing that is up is donations. Now that's the only thing you're gonna get an alert for. So what I suggest if you want to do, if you want to keep your mixer alerts on one side of the screen, maybe you want to keep your YouTube alerts on the other side of the screen, you know, if somebody's going to send you a donation, somebody's going to send you a tip, you want that up front. I like to put that right in the center of my screen. I put that right in the middle. I make it big. So when that tip does come through, there's no missing it. You know, you set it up however you want to set it up. You can put it in the top right, you can put it in the middle, you can make it the full screen. Who cares? You do it however you want to do it. But doing it this way, you now have, uh, the way I'm explaining it, is you'd actually have three custom URLs for alerts. You got your mixer alerts, which gives you your follows, your subs, um, anything else that pops up on mixer. Then you got your YouTube alerts over on the other side, that's your subscribers, your members, your super chat. And then you got your third URL, which is going to be your donations. So we're going to go take a back, take a look again over here at uh, at my alerts test. So again, we got the picture back up, and again, you know, this is what you're trying to get to, guys. This is what you're trying to get to. You got your mixer alert over here. You know, you got your you got your subscribers over here for YouTube. Oh my gosh, somebody's going to be coming in with uh, maybe a donation. I don't have it set up right now, but donations only show up right now. For my mixer because I have it unchecked from YouTube donations only show up in the mixer area you don't get that double donation uh, thing to show up because it's not in my YouTube URL that's the thing I'm trying to, to point out and the nice thing is you know if you got a really active uh, active you know sub train or whatever it's going on and you're on two different platforms it's going to show up at you know on their own so we got a YouTube we got a YouTube subscriber we got a mixer follower uh, maybe we're gonna get lucky. Somebody's gonna throw in a super chat right in there too. Here we go. Mischief tipping 27 through super chat. How nice of you, mischief. That's very good. <laughs> All right, um, guys, that's really it. That's the sim simple version, uh, or I tried to make it as simple as possible. I've been explaining this a lot in um, 
in in the comments section and I don't know if I'm getting my point across it's kind of hard to to type this out I figured it was easier to show you but that's it so the last thing I am gonna say is something you could do to help me out down below in the uh, description uh, there are two affiliate links of mine two of my affiliate links if uh, one of them or both of them you probably already are signed up for but if you're not if you're not using Restream.io and you are interested in doing that, I would imagine you would be if you're watching this video because you want to learn how to do different alerts for different platforms and you need to use a program like Restream.io to stream out to multiple platforms. I've been using it for a long time. It is great. Um, I have a link down below where if you were to uh, load Restream using my link, it sends a little uh, affiliate bonus my way gives me a little bit of cash in my pocket absolutely free to you but it shows them that I turned you on to restream and uh, that's their way of repaying me uh, the other one is very similar it's through Streamlabs although again if you're watching this video you probably already have a Streamlabs account um, but if you it's actually not for Streamlabs it's for Streamlabs OBS let me correct myself there it's for Streamlabs OBS so if you're using OBS uh, and you want to give Streamlabs OBS, which is their streaming version, or their version of streaming software, which is very similar to OBS. Uh, I've been using that for a while too. Uh, same deal. Down below, there is a link that will bring you to the download site. It will send a dollar my way. But the nice thing about what they do is it also sends some money to charity. So um, if you are interested in using Streamlabs OBS, their free software, again, free to you, um, Use my, I just do ask, use my affiliate link down below. Helps me out, helps out a charity as well, and maybe it'll help you out. You'll find the streaming software that you really do enjoy. All right, guys, the gameplay you've kind of been watching sporadically in the background has been from Apex Legends, the game I've been playing recently. Depending on when you are watching this video, it may or may not still be relevant, but right now it's been a lot of fun. Uh, that's also what the image or the still was that I was using in the background uh, to show the alerts. Please, 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 if you have any questions, put them down below. I always do my best to respond as quickly as I can, and I want to get you guys uh, out of being stuck. I want to get you guys running and doing exactly what you want to do, not being held back by uh, any kind of confusion here. Hopefully this video uh, fixes it for you. That's what I'm trying to say. Hopefully this video does fix any confusion or shows you how to... Uh, how to customize all your alerts the way you want to do it. There's a lot you can do with this by putting, you know, different alerts in different areas. Play around with it. That's how I figured it out. Just play around with it. That's going to do it for this one, guys. If it did help you, please hit that like button. Again, any questions, put them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. Other than that, thanks for watching. If you want to check out my streams, weeknights, follow me on Twitter to find out exactly when. Usually Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. There's other days in there, uh, but I'm working on a schedule. It's hard to keep one. <laughs> That's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.